Hello, happy Thursday. I am Meredith. I am here with our message for the 9th of May, 2024. We're using Bonefire Tarot for our message today. We have the sun in Taurus, the moon in Gemini, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Tuning into the energy atmosphere, of course. What do we have? What do the cards have to say? Our first is, hey, there she is, the world. Now we saw the world yesterday paired with, I think it was the 10 of cups. So we begin today with the reward of all of our prior investment. This is exciting. This is something to be very happy about. I do feel an essence that remains from yesterday's reading where there may be a small detail overlooked uh, or minimized by our ego that ends up being quite profound in hindsight for us. That essence is still with me today, especially now that I've turned over the world card. So this is a super positive card. It's one of fulfillment, and that's always something to be excited about. Though, <laughs> as someone uh, emailed to me recently, sometimes fulfillment means an ending. I agree with that because that's something that has come full circle in the world card is about full circle moments. And what's so sweet about that is that there's a bit of the infinity essence on that too. So, you know, <laughs> kind of like the death card we saw yesterday, which means an ending in the beginning and a beginning in the ending. Simultaneous endings and beginnings is another way to put that. And I feel that here with the world card. And I'm keeping that in check because a lot of people have had... Uh, an astrological influence of Pluto going retrograde. So Mercury's gone direct, but Pluto's gone retrograde. And so there's been this uh, almost like push-pull, tug-of-war type of energy going on within ourselves. That's been reported to me by many. I have occasionally felt it as well. Let's see what's next. Let's see how this develops. Well, now we have the Six of Cups, the Soulmate card. And this is a reminder that you are your own best soulmate here. And it was this deck in particular, Bonefire Tarot, that gave me a completely different perspective of this card. So one would t make a leap of faith with this being a soulmate card and the suggestion by the artwork on almost any Rider weight based tarot that one person is exchanging a gift with another. I see this as our soulful presence handing off to our waking human consciousness here on this card. And what a great placement to have the world here because the message is all about reward of all our prior investment. And I feel like we're handing that off to ourselves from our soulful presence to our waking consciousness. And this is a bit of a channeled message, which is also something we talked about in yesterday's reading, that there was a bit of an epiphany type of energy coming to our awareness and likely connected to something that we made, that we may have minimized. So in hindsight, we will see how those small, simple experiences add up to something profound. So stay tuned and, <laughs> and be prepared because right there in the middle of the reading is the Four of Swords. This is a card of preparation. All fours bring us stability. And this card is about relaxing and being receptive as well. This is peace and relaxation for the spiritual warrior. So it's like we've come home to ourselves. We're finding peace, ease, grace, relaxation within self-relationship, which is beautiful. And it's preparing us for whatever comes next, which is, wow, pause for enlightenment with the hanged man. If ever you needed a, a message about taking a time out, here it is. Take a time out. Check in with yourself. Get into your hard space, ground with Mother Earth. Be present and be now. Pull yourself out of any future thinking or past rehashing and be here now so that you are 
open and receptive to what's coming your way, which is connected to the Nine of Cups. This is the wish card in tarot. This is about a dream coming true. So we've talked about this for weeks and I've switched up from saying we're having a great season of manifestation to, or great, rather a great period of manifestation to a full on season of it. Or this is just the way it is and the way it's meant to be. And that's exciting, which means that we have to maybe challenge some of our belief system uh, out of a pattern that we've woven into our own matrix. We may need to challenge ourselves and that could be the pause right here. I know that some of you are feeling this. Um, I've heard it plenty in my circle of friends and loved ones and it's this kind of pausing right here that is like a tarot definition of allowing and what are you allowing you're allowing a dream to come true though it's going to engage us in our comfort zone because we have a tendency to become comfortable <laughs> and then we start pushing uh, out there on the edge of our comfort zone and that's when things start to feel a little unfamiliar and what happens when things feel unfamiliar we seek the familiar and does that serve us is the question here so uh keep doing what you're doing we got don't stop yesterday out of angel answers so don't quit pause for sure pause for enlightenment allow yourself to be informed by your own channeled guidance about how your rewards and answered prayers and dreams are fulfilling in the now. And a good question here, because the Four of Swords is all about stable relaxation and preparation for what comes next. Have you prepared to receive the very things that you've been in manifestation for and with? Mm -hmm. Only you can answer that, of course. So if you haven't, now is the time to make way. First card off the bottom of the deck. This is how the universe is supporting us behind the scenes. Now we had this card in yesterday's reading too. Eight of Wands, incoming information. I can't remember where it fell in the lineup of cards at this moment. Uh, really what matters most is that we are absolutely receiving. Look at this, this is incoming information. And you can't have the Eight of Wands without mentioning the Four of Wands because that's a double that's a double four of wands right there, which is the happiest card out of the minor arcana of tarot. Also super stable, and that's very much connected to our dreams coming true. So that brings a little bit more influence to this beautiful nine of cups. Ace of cups to the power of nine. <laughs> Fabulous, right? Let's see what's next. Knight of cups coming our way. Ooh, we, so we're in motion with the Ace of Cups. So this Knight and this Nine make the Ten of Cups, which we had, as I mentioned earlier, in yesterday's reading as well. So where is this Knight going? Right to the Queen of Wands. Fantastic. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire in Divine Feminine Receptivity. So again, this the underside of the deck is all about receiving. Now notice that there's a heart there uh, in the center of the horse's forehead, right? And this is really our channeled heart space awareness. So we've got the Six of Cups here, a channeling card. We have the Eight of Wands, a potential channeling card. This is us receiving messages from the divine and taking action, Knight of Cups, on those messages to bring fulfillment to our stable, super stable, foundation. Mm, beautiful message. And we have the four of cups. Another thing, excuse me, another thing about the queen of wands there is she's the outspoken queen. She's the one who will say what everybody else is thinking. She tells it to you like it is. And I feel like this is a conversation for us a conversation style for us to take with our own ego in self relationship. We may need to stand up like the queen of wands and bring the fire 
to some sort of nagging old doubt. And that may be why we have this pause here because this pause ends up being an open doorway to receive everything off the Nine of Cups, which is profound. And then there's unexpected receptivity here as well. This Four of Cups is a card that is usually spoken over in terms of apathy. You know, feeling like, oh, ho-hum, I've had three fabulous cups. What's next? What's now? And they're not seeing that there is an incoming cup. So there's surprise and delight woven into whatever this situation is in evolution for you. <laughs> That's exciting. So super stable emotions here. It's not apathy. It's stability. And in that stability, we have an opportunity to have appreciation and gratitude for what is. And because of the appreciation and gratitude, another Ace of Cups comes our way, filling out our Nine of Cups, making the Ten. Now, if you have the Ten between the Knight and the Nine, and you subtract this Four, you end up back at the Six. Hmm pretty cool. So that's going to keep, you know, the channeling, the message is going to keep coming until we uh, have some, what was it I said yesterday? Radical acceptance, right? Have some radical acceptance for what is incoming and how the divine is communicating with you. Oh my word. Seriously, look at that. Wow. Now there's the 10 of cups. <laughs> Fabulous card witching yesterday, today as well. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Ten of Cups, everybody loves to see it and you know exactly why. So there's the reward coming full circle for us. And it's coming more swiftly than we might realize. So yesterday we had two swift moving cards, if I recall correctly. The eight and something else uh, that I don't recall at the moment. But now we've got it again in the sense that we've got momentum here with the night. So we are closer, nine of cups, four of cups, than we could ever recognize. Now let's do a little more numerology for just a moment. Let's, let's exclude the night and let's exclude the 10 and just take the four away from the nine in the suit of cups and you end up with the five of cups. And that is the discomfort of the ego. And that's what may rise and give us pause and or introduce doubt off the world card here and, a, and ultimately doubt even in the 10 of cups. So deal with your doubt. How do you do that? I will repeat, unconditional love, compassion and kindness for yourself. Take the time out that's required here with the four of swords and the hanged man. Give yourself the gift of enlightenment. Take a few breaths, get grounded and then open your arms and your heart wide open to receive exactly what you have been nurturing into being. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Angel Answers, if you've got a question, a query, would like confirmation about something, let this deck bring it to you. Our first card. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and one of our favorites and a frequent flyer, at least on this tarot table, it's our big happy changes. And it's our happy that makes the big change. You can see evidence of that all over this reading. And I really think that the cards are asking us to accommodate the change. Which means that we have to stretch ourselves and we have to become comfortable with being slightly uncomfortable in the unfamiliar while our ego attempts a tantrum to deny what's coming. <laughs> and we have perfect timing. That's divine timing. That's where all the allowing and radical acceptance happens. One of my favorites coming with it, communicate clearly, no verbal clutter. When it comes to your communication with the divine all, Get clear, get precise, and get succinct. And when you are in connection communication with others, ask questions. If you do not understand something, ask a question because making assumptions is really only gonna fuel the doubt from the ego. Get clarity and offer clarity. Next, oh, we have one falling out. Emphatic, yes. 
<laughs> One more card. Yes, take action. Take action on your dreams. Keep doing what you're doing. It works. All right, final word for today's message from this beautiful soul power deck. How is our soulful presence informing our waking consciousness? Sweet. <laughs> world peace. Make peace in your world and you will help create world peace. <laughs> I think that's what the Four of Swords and the Hanged Man is all about. Get to peaceful within yourself and allow this whole world of reward that's coming your way to actually arrive so you can be peaceful enough in appreciation and gratitude to receive what you've manifested. Have the most beautiful day ever. Peace, love, joy, blessings. Namaste.